Hutch. Oh, old Dave and Hutch down that West Pass. Old Dave and Hutch. They uh, they always caught the most of very large fish. So the game warden he started following them around. Well, they went out on a canoe, Ninjin Pond there. The warden, he was hiding in the bushes, you know, with his binoculars. <laughs> Cause most of them wardens are so colorless, they can hide just about anyway. So. <laughs> well, they see Hutch open his tackle box, take out a stick of dynamite with a short fuse, light it, and throw it overboard. Well, there's a terrible explosion. You know, ten dozen fish float up the surface. Couple of them pretty good ones. <laughs> the warden gets in his canoe and goes out and says, that is against the law. He said, I'm gonna have to arrest you. Well, Hotch lights another stick of dynamite, tosses it to the warden. He says, Warden, you want to fish with us, or you going to sit there and discuss my new points of law? <laughs> well, the upper Kennebec River, the east outlet, is the origin or the source of the Kennebec River. And it's, uh, it's forever been a river, at least in the last, uh, since the last two ice ages. And Moosehead Lake is the largest lake in the United States contained within the borders of the United States that wasn't created by a dam. So it's brook trout and salmon fishing, and it's pretty good. Faith is true, that's why we go. The truth in the faith is irrelevant, don't you know? Oh, shit. God is here, but who cares? When cries are loud, I'm then I breath they seem to feed upon the end of sense and say I'm down of childhood. Don't Tip number 12, just tap the brakes, just give them a little touch. For me, fly casting is the essence of the sport. It's exactly the reason that we all fly fish, ultimately. Catching fish is great, but it is fun to play with this toy that we call the fly rod and to see the fly line unravel and land on the water. It's just a great sensation. And uh, it's a neat conduit to the fish. It's a way to attach yourself to something that's wild. Tip number 72, you gotta let it go. God is here, but who cares? When crimes are loud, are they now breaths they say? It's one of those toques. They put their head right down. And you can't move them. Sometimes if you take the line and you tog, you get their head down. What makes the East Outlet relatively unique in fly fishing in the United States is that it's one of the top places to go landlocked salmon fishing. And landlocked salmon aren't just everywhere. Uh, they're kind of rare, but they're stronger than a rainbow in terms of their fight. They jump out of the water two to three times the length of their size. So if you had a 20 inch fish, you might jump six feet in the air when hooked. And they do this on the East Outlet in class three whitewater. So if you have a two, three pound fish, four pound fish even, on a fly rod in the right circumstance, you have one of the most, most uh, spectacular fish fights you might ever have with a fly rod. And you don't have to be in Key West, Florida, attached to a 120-pound tarpon to have that happen. It can happen right in front of you with your favorite 9-foot 5-weight. 